All right, so hello and welcome. Uh, today we are going to continue with uh, code snippets in Adobe Animate. And uh, right now I'm going to uh, show you how you can position your objects and how, how can you move them around. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create my canvas and I'm going to go 500 by 600 HTML5 canvas and I will hit create. So uh, very simply as in the previous videos, I'm going to create some shape. So shape like this. And I'm going to convert this to the symbol with F8. And I'm going to create a name and the name is going to be ball one, for example. I will rename my layer ball. And now what I need to do is I will create a new layer. I will go on the first frame. I will right click, choose actions. And now I'm going to click on my shape. I will go to my code snippets. And in the HTML5 canvas, I would like to go to the, to the actions. And in the actions, I want to show you click to position an object. So I will double click. And right now what we have is uh, we have very simple even listener this ball one, add even listener, click, name of the function, then this bind method, and then we have the function, and by default in the function we have that uh, this ball uh, x is going to be on the 200 pixels, and this ball y is going to be on the 100 pixels. So if I hit control enter, and I'm going to click on my shape, it is going to be positioned on 200 and 100. All right, so uh, temporarily, again, I'm going to uh, change the color of my stage. So when I hit Control Enter, I can see the borders of my, of my stage. So I will go back to my code by hitting F9. And uh, right now, what we can do is uh, to set this ball X to be uh, on the location where my mouse is. All right, so what I can do is type stage dot mouse x, and I am going to copy this, control C, and I will do the same thing, but for the Y. So stage mouse Y, like so. And now if I hit control enter, what is going to happen is that if I click on my shape, uh, my shape is going to have the middle on the place where I clicked. Okay, like so. But uh, right now we have the even listener for the shape. So if I click somewhere else, it is not going to be working. So I will close this. And uh, I tried to make something like this. This stage add even listener, but it didn't work. So I also tried just this even listener, but it also didn't work. So I wasn't really sure why, but what I did is uh, I created a background layer. So I took my rectangle shape, I took my background color, I put it down beyond the ball and I draw a shape like this. Then I convert this to the symbol F8, hit enter, and I can call this to be my BG, my background. And right now I can go to my code F9 and I can put this, my BG, add even listener. And right now, uh, wherever I click on my stage, my ball is going to be positioned there. So I will hit control enter. And indeed you can see that my ball is going to be positioned where I click. Okay, cool. So uh, I will go back to my code and we can continue. So this is one thing that we can do. And the next thing that we can do is uh, I will get rid of this and I will type 20, for example. And I will do the same thing for this one, like so. And right now what is going to happen is very simply, if I hit Control Enter and I will click, it is going to be on the 
position 2020 and nothing else is going to happen. But what we can do is to make plus equal 20 and plus equal 20 on the boat. And right now this means that every time that I will click, it is going to move it by 20 pixels on the X axis and 20 pixels on the Y axis. I can change this to 40 so you can see the different and I will hit control enter and you can see that it is going to be positioned like this every time I click. All right. So this is uh, one thing that you can do. Uh, you can position it uh, at the beginning wherever you want and then continue. So it's, it's up to you. The next thing that you can do actually is imagine that you would like to increase this space every time that you, that you click. So what I can do is uh, set this value to the variable. So I can create var my x is going to be equal to 20, for example. And I'm actually going to replace uh, both of them with my x, like so. And uh, if I would like to, I could go my x times 2, and this would be 40, but I'm not going to bother with this. And I'm going to show you, control enter, that this is going to be working the same way. Okay. And now what I can do is uh, go below and set that my x is equal to my x plus 40. Okay. And right now, this is not going to be working yet. And I will explain in the second why. But I just want to show you that if I hit control enter, it is going to be moving by 20 pixels. And the thing is that in my code, I set my variable, my x to be equals to 20. Then I set my ball x and ball y to be my x. And then I try to increase my x uh, by adding 40. But the problem is that again, when I click, my variable is going to be set to 20. So one thing that I can do is actually get my variable outside of the function. So I will hit control X and I will put it somewhere outside. And right now what is going to happen is that my variable is going to be set on 20. It is going to be 20 here, 20 here. Then we add 40, so it is going to be 60. And it is not going to be changed at the beginning, so the next time it is going to be 60. And the next time it is going to be 100. All right, so I will hit Ctrl Enter. And indeed you can see that now it's 20, 60, 100, 140, and so on. So this is the way how you can play with this. You can go my x times two, you can, you can create a different variable for your X and for your Y if you want. So this is, this is really optional and this is really up to you. So this is one way how you can position the object. So yeah, this is it. This was a very simple tutorial about positioning the object and I will see you in the next video. So hit the thumbs up, consider to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.